I actually have this row right here already hardened up. What I want to do is get some beading wire out. Whoops. You're going to cut this wire, the, length, the thread, the length that you want it. And these guys I did, so these ones are done, and just press from the back, and they just come out. They just pop right out. See? Now you'll notice when I did it, I got a little sloppy here. And when I pour it from end to end, it doesn't matter because that just pops off. It's so thin, it just pops right off. So we just, these just come out. And it only takes, depends on the temperature of your house, but they only take about three or four minutes to cool. Maybe five minutes to cool, they're very quick. And you can see these nice little diamonds already done up. We're also going to use these as some flower centers. See how we're doing here? This is still flexible. You can tell it's ready when it starts to pull away from the mold. It's pulling away a little bit on the edges here, but not really. And I can feel it's still hot underneath, so it's not ready yet. It's close. And same with this. I'm going to touch it. If I can tell where the air bubbles were. <laughs> so these, this bead probably isn't going to come out. I probably had it too thick. And you really need it really liquidy for it to work. And so I'm thinking there was air bubbles in this. But again, it'll pull away when it's ready. So this is ready. And again, I can see that there's an air bubble in it. You can see it looks like a little silver circle in there. And I can see one here too. So I know that this didn't quite feel like it was supposed to. So when I take it apart, it's really beautiful, but I can see, yeah, it didn't fill here and it didn't fill here like it should have. It doesn't make quite a round ball, but at least you can get the idea of what this would normally look like. It actually isn't bad. What you do now is you need to cut it apart. So you just take a pair of scissors and snip it right at this base here and see it comes right apart. So if you have one of these molds, obviously it's got to be really, really liquidy really really liquidy and look at uh, this semi isomalt is just fabulous i don't even need to torch that i could have done this on a thread because this isomalt works so beautifully um the other isomalts i work i'll show you actually it's cloudier it's a little more yellow the difference between semi and the other isomalt okay so quite a difference and this one i actually had to torch because because it was so cloudy but uh, this one did fill all the way. I just needed to heat this up more. I, I was, it was just too cool. But there makes beautiful little droplets. And we'll cut the edge of this off. I can actually, you know, remelt this isomalt down and reuse it again. Since it didn't work, I can remelt it now. Okay. So now it looks like a droplet. But again, you know, I didn't quite get it right. But those are going to be, those are the droplets. Those are going to go in the center of my cake. And these pieces can be redone. Okay, I will remake that. This is the swank mold. Let me see if it's ready. You can see it starting to come out. Let's see the. It does have a little bit of that bubbling effect there. It's beautiful and clear. I am going to torch it just a touch, just to get rid of the bubbles. So just a, just a hair. It ruins some of the facet, but it makes it nice and clear. I can't touch it, so we'll have to wait. I just did it ever so little bit. I don't know if you could see how it cleared up. There. Cleared up beautifully. Okay, so there's that. And then these guys. So here I've got this long droplet, and this is going to come out beautiful. You don't need to torch these unless you get an air bubble in them, which we didn't. Nice, beautiful little piece. And then these guys. See how I can just press it from the bottom a little bit, and they just come right out. It's like doing hard candy. These can be used for hard candy too, not just isomalt. 
I actually use these with my gelatin to make gelatin jewels out of them too, because gelatin works in this too as well.